What is going on ladies and gentlemen, Monkey Flop here and today I wanted to show you how to stop your PlayStation Plus from auto renewing. Now, if you guys don't know, if you used a debit card, a credit card, any sort of online payment to complete your PlayStation Plus, PayPal, it's going to automatically sign you up for automatic renew uh, for anything really. So I'm going to show you guys really quickly how to stop that from happening because it could be really annoying and go ahead and go to the top left hand corner where it says PlayStation Plus. Click on that baby right there and then you're going to go to manage membership. Go ahead and click on that subscriptions. And then once the PlayStation uh, 4 is finished thinking, it's going to show me right now what I have and when it's going to expire. Now, uh, I get a 12 year membership, one year package. They nailed me for 60 bucks and it expires next year. Um, as you guys can see right there, the renewal date, I actually re removed it because I turned off auto renew. And at the bottom right here where it says turn on auto renew, if you're set up for auto renew, it will ask you if you want to turn it off. Go ahead and turn it off. Um, and then just tell them, hey, I want to do it manually. Um, you can also extend it if you wanted to stack PlayStation Plus. You can do it that way. I don't really recommend it because Amazon usually has PlayStation Plus for cheaper. Uh, recently, I saw Amazon go for PlayStation Plus for about 40 bucks. Link to that is in the video description in case you guys are curious and you want to see. Just go ahead and follow the link, search PlayStation Plus, and you'll be able to see um, if there's any deals. And keep in mind, too, it does stack. So let's say you find a deal on PlayStation Plus and you want to buy two years worth. You can put it into your PlayStation 4 system and, and bada bing, bada boom, you got more. Now, for me, I, I kind of got nailed, screwed, because I didn't realize that it was set to auto-renew. And uh, when I when I found out that I get nailed with 60 bucks, I'm like, where did this charge come from? And I saw PlayStation Plus and I was like, dang it. And I came on here and sure enough, even though I did not select it, it automatically selected it when I purchased the PlayStation Plus. And like an idiot, I didn't check. So I wanted to shine light on it and maybe hopefully help some of you guys out so you guys don't get nailed with the $60 price, especially when it does go on sale uh, really frequently on Amazon. <laughs> um, and that's honestly what I was going to do. I was going to just go on Amazon, buy PlayStation Plus when mine expired, but surprise monkey flop, you get to pay 60 bucks sucker. <laughs> Anyways, let me know what you guys think about it in the comment section below. Make sure to hit a like. And if you guys are new around here, hit that subscribe button, bell notification. That way you guys know when I go live or post new videos such as this one or maybe something else. Anyways, that's it for me. I'll see you guys in the next news update. You guys are freaking awesome.